Hi, I'm Larry Berry, Larry Service Center. It's turned cold outside and there's two things we need to do. Come to the Taylorville Tornado Basketball Games and Larry Service Center for your automotive needs. In the shop, we give unequal performance, but I'm going to leave the basketball up to these guys. We'll see you on the court. The Taylorville Tornadoes hosted the 5-1 Charleston Trojans on Friday in the Apollo Conference Showdown. Connor Patrick got things started for the Tornadoes for the three, and Taylorville went on a 10-0 run to start the game, and that was all she wrote for the Trojans, as the Tornadoes never trailed throughout the entire contest. We've been waiting for this performance for about seven games now, and, and we finally broke loose and, and shot really, really well tonight. Um, and, and had some very good uh, performances from a number of players. But, you know, you, you love putting up offensive numbers like that, going into a, a long break like this, um, where we're going to be off for a little while with the Christmas uh, holiday. So, you know, it, it's, it's just going to make, um, you know, this next week of preparation just, just a little bit easier, knowing that, you know, we can score points. And, and I was worried that our identity was uh, changing and that we are going to have to just keep slowing it down and, and just keep grinding in the lane and things like that. But we really showcased our depth tonight and our speed tonight looks really, really good. Yeah, we turned so much defense into offense tonight and, and forced a, a, lot of, a lot of turnovers out of Charleston uh, and a lot of live ball uh, steals for us where we were able to convert and get down the uh, get down the floor and get some good layups going there. So it was really nice to see our defense play that well. We did such a nice job of moving our feet. Um, you know, they the, there's gaps between Lane and Jimmy, and they weren't able to get through that. And there's gaps between Lane and Logan, and they weren't able to get through that either. And you know, you have two fouls in a half, and you're pressing the whole time, and you're getting steals galore. So what are you doing good? Well, your your footwork is just amazing. Uh, if you're able to play that good on defense, force that many steals, and only commit two fouls. So right there, that's the, our best defensive uh, half was that first half that we've had this season. And, and, you know, obviously the scoreboard reflects how well we were on offense tonight. Well, you know, there it is again. Our, our bench is, is really good, and uh, I'm super comfortable with running 10 guys uh, in the game. And uh, it, it feels good to be that deep because you just really never know who's going to be your your uh, big contributor off the, off the uh, bench for us. And, and so tonight it was just a number of guys that came in and did really, really well. Jed Evans off the bench. Evans came into the game and hit a hook shot on his first touch that sent a buzz throughout the building. Evans played the majority of the second half and picked up eight points and provided tough defense for the Tornadoes. Jed Evans probably had one of the most inspirational performances that I've been lucky enough to experience uh, tonight. He came in and, and he hit that first hook shot and, and I just got chills down my spine and, and, and he just went in there and, and he played. Uh, just a great game and, and I think that's going to be a memory that that I will remember until I die and, and I sure hope our team and the people here tonight uh, will remember what Jed Evans did tonight because it, it was it, it was so inspirational. Kids are amazing and super mm -hmm. resilient and you know to, to do what he did this week uh, was was inspirational. I'm just really proud of our guys. Our, our guys just just played so hard tonight. Definitely our best game that we've played um, this season, and, and we needed it. And, and it feels good to, to come away with a win, uh, knowing that you know our, our holiday tournament is is a very tough tough schedule and tough five games that we'll go through. So it's good to know that we can play that well offensively, and. Uh, and you know, hopefully the, the basketball hoop keeps looking like a hula hoop. <laughs>